Good morning children. So here we are with our Thursday video. Now this video is based on chapter 7 that is geometry. That is your next chapter post the decimals and fractions that we have done. Now geometry is a completely different field of mathematics. It is more related to skills, accuracy, and drawing okay less the up till now whatever we were doing the addition subtraction multiplication division even the bodmas rule that you all did that is mixture operation of uh, addition subtraction multiplication ye sab jab hum log karte hain using the numbers this is called as an algebra the algebra field of mathematics mathematics has also got different fields like your science has got physics chemistry math uh, biology zoology same way mathematics has also got different standard fields which you can select as your career in future okay it's not compulsory that you just go on doing with some addition subtraction and some sort of multiplication and division and some lot of other things which you will be learning ahead okay, you will be doing only the algebraic part of mathematics there is geometry but geometry needs a lot of skills understanding towards the figures and understanding looking around our complete surrounding is surrounded by geometry everywhere if you see you get different shapes to see and geometry is what it is about different shapes and their specific sizes and drawing of those shapes with accuracy with particular skill of the size given it is not just a game of picking up a scale and a pencil, measuring and drawing. Yes, in fifth standard, you will be doing that only. But as you go ahead and if you are interested in geometry, then you can pick up architectural design, interior design and these kind of fields, graphical designs as your career where you will be needing mathematics in geometry form more than algebra but yes you have to be good in your skills you uh, there are certain rules and regulations which are to be strictly followed while doing geometry which of course slowly when we are doing the chapter And in uh, sixth standard, you have got practical geometry, seventh, eighth, and so on. So you will be getting an expertise in this particular sub sub subject of geometry of mathematics also. So our first chapter is geometry. Let's see what is there. It basically talks about different shapes and sizes, the angles, the different lines segments, rays and all these things come into picture. Just a small logo for it. Now, I will just have a recapitulation of what exactly you have done in fourth standard. This is not something new. Geometry chapter was done in fourth standard. Same chapter seven. In fourth standard also, here also it's chapter seven. Now, there were a few things you already did and practiced and revised and even you practiced while drawing also. That was a point has no size or shape, just a position. Okay. Now, before I start geometry, I request you all not, it's not compulsory that you buy a complete geometry box. What you will be needing is a scale, a nice sharpened pencil and eraser and a divider okay divider you know this may do not have pointed with uh, a rounder make out the eight of a pencil attach karte hai hame uski zero that may have a lot 
So do not insist your parents to buy a plain copy for you. Do not insist your parents to um, buy a geometry box for you. Certain few plain sheets or even if you're doing in your copy, is it okay? You need a divider. You need a scale, a pencil and a sharpener. A point has no size or shape, just position. Now, what happens, children, usually when a child is drawing a point? This I have been repeating also in standard. Fourth also, this is. This is a point. बच्चे क्या करते हैं पेंसिल लेते हैं पॉइंट बनाते फिर ऐसे से गोल 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 एंड देन दे से या दिस इज अ पॉइंट डज इट लुक लाइक अ पॉइंट नो इट डज नॉट लुक लाइक अ पॉइंट इट हैज ऑलमोस्ट बिकम अ स्मॉल सर्कल विद सर्टेन डायमेंशन अ पॉइंट हैज गॉट नो डायमेंशन इट्स जस्ट अ पोजीशन इट्स जस्ट अ पोजीशन इट हैज गॉट नो डायमेंशन this is wrong this is correct okay a line is a straight path of the points that has no beginning or the end it keeps on extending at both the ends this side as well as this side so obviously it cannot be measured a line cannot be measured but the two points on the line lots of points passes through this line basically a line is combination of consecutive points so you can measure the distance between x and this point you can measure the distance between x and y you can measure the distance between let's call this as o o and y so all this can be done but in absolute that was not going to give you the measurement of line okay it is going to give a measurement of the segmental part of that line a line segment is a portion of line that has two end points a line segment is a portion of a line that has got two end points like i told you you can just draw two points and you can connect like i drew this you can connect these two this is a line segment which has got typical end it just cannot be extending extending as thing then it's a fixed distance between the two points a ray is a portion of line which has no one end point which has sorry only one end point and extends in other direction sorry i am the so it has got again it cannot be measured yes but the points it's passing through the points that it's passing through i'll take some other color but the points it's passing through point thoda mushkil se aa raha hai that can be measured this is a starting point how can i get a point is it visible yes the points available on that ray can be measured but that will that does not mean it's giving you the measurement of the ray okay so these things you have already done in fourth standard you just have to revise it back and i think after this you have recalled what you have done it in fourth standard we have done measurement of line segments even drawing the line segments i will not go deep into it because the, we have got more special parts more special things to learn in this chapter now what happens is i have two rays and i am merging them at one single point 
two rays are coming together at one now please don't take this as a small as a small circle it's just to show it to you that this is that common 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 vertex or a point from where to sun kya hai what is the sun let's see some examples see this is a line on the road, the line, the white line that they draw, it has got absolutely no end point. It just goes on and on and it gives direction to you. A pin is the point. Okay? A pin, when you board par usko tap karte ho, you make a point or a vortex, a ray. The sun emitting the rays because the end point of that ray is the sun. That is the end point and then it keeps on extending. It's not just possible for you to catch hold of that ray. Right? Teer, teer kaman. Uska ek end hota hai and dusre side mein arrow hota hai. To jab wo move karta hai, jab aap usko pull karke, you cannot stop it. Until and unless it goes and hits something. A line segment toothbrush. Aapka toothbrush ho chota bada hota hai kya? Nahi. It has got a fixed point end to end which can be measured very comfortably. Now, railway lines are actually the parallel lines. You have done this also in fourth standard. Railway lines are actually the parallel lines which never meet. It never meet. Railway lines agar meet ho gai, to aapki railway train ko kya hoga? Dash. Because the railway has got two proper sides where there are proper wheels and those wheels need to move on certain railway track. Okay. Yes, it does take a turn, a right angle. Okay. A left side angle. Yes, it does take it. But that does not mean that it's merging. It can overlap another railway track. But that does not mean that that will be called as intersection of parallel lines. Matlab parallel lines a particular point mein ek dusre ko aake cut kar rahe hai. But that does not mean that they are meeting. They can never meet because if they meet, you will meet an accident. If you see the cross here, if you see the cross here, this is actually intersecting lines. Ek ye or ek ye segments, it's intersecting at one point. Koi bhi do line segment le lo, koi bhi do lines le lo, usko ek dusre se cross karo, to wo sirf ek hi point par ek dusre ko cross karte hai. Not compulsorily, they bisect each other. What does the meaning of bisecting means? Is making the state uh, making the line segments same. Bisect kar rahe ho is not necessary. What does bisecting means? Sorry for my spelling error. Bisecting means cutting each other at the middle. Yahapar it's looking. In this particular image, it does look that it is bisecting also. The lines, the rays, the segments, they are intersecting. But at the same time, they are intersecting each other, that they are cutting each other at a middle point. Means, to those side ki distance bachte hai, wo same rehte hai. The two side distance that we get are exactly same. This distance is equal to this distance. This distance is equal to this distance. Okay. Now you can also see the circles here. You can also see a triangle here. We will come to all these points a little slowly.
Okay. Again, let's see a few examples around, but before that, I will go to one major part that is this is an example of ray. A torch is the end point, and when it rays goes, you search something in the dark, you cannot catch hold of that ray. Aap jahan tak nazar dalenge, aapko wo ray dikhega. Right? So, let's go to something more. Here. So, we were talking about this. That is two angles are... That is two rays are meeting at one single point. It can be segments also, children, not compulsorily ray. Line nahi ho sakti. Okay. Two rays or segments, they meet at a common vertex. And when such a thing happens, there is a distance formed between the two. That distance is this. That is a distance is formed between the two and this distance is called as the measure of the angle. This is called as the measure. Next slide you will see it. See, side, side, vertex and what happens? Common end point, ray, ray and a distance is formed between the two that is called as measure of and angle. So, what are the important parts of the angles that you form? You get two rays touching at a common point. A distance is created between the two. That distance is called, what are these called together now? The ray is called as arm of the angle. This is also arm, arms of the angle meeting at a common vertex and thus a distance is formed thus a distance is formed between the two that is called as the measure of an angle let's see more now depending on what type of measure is formed between the two angles they are called they are given that name agar wo angle 60 ke niche, 90 ke niche rehta hai, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, uh, it has a unit, the angle measure has got unit, like your weight has got unit kgs, your length has got unit centimeter meter, <coughs> your capacity has got a unit of liter and milliliter, same way, the degree, the measurement has got a unit that is called as degree, not degree Celsius, that is temperature. Yaan pe sirf degree lagta hai. Okay? So, if that distance turns out to be less than 90, it is called as an acute angle. What it is called as? It is called as an acute angle. If that distance again turns out to be less than 40, 90 degree, it will be called as acute angle. I'll take my arrow here. See, this is a distance and when measured, how to measure we are going to learn. This is 45. This is 108. So something Teen type ke angles mein live session mein thoda sa apne hand ke saath aapko ye cheeze express karungi. Jo beyond the hand. If you see my video here for a second. I'll move myself to the stage. I'll try to move. I don't know whether it's possible. Okay. If you see. My hand, this is a ray, this is a point and say this is a ray. Of course, my hand has a fixed distance. So, I told you that we can take a line segment as well as a ray. So, ye hai or ye hai. Okay. So, my elbows are touching each other. My elbows are touching each other and a gap is being formed between the two. That gap is called as the measure of the angle. Okay. Now, depending on that, if suppose the angle comes to be like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, 
it is called as acute angle but the moment this becomes straight absolutely straight dekhi aap base dekhi aur uh, hand dekhi hai main thoda sa ha because mujhe ulta dikh raha hai straight it becomes a right angle it becomes a right angle okay if i keep my hand like this it becomes a straight angle ये कॉमन वर्टेक्स हो गया ये कॉमन वर्टेक्स हो गया और ऐसे सीधा हाथ रखा है ये जो एंगल फॉर्म होता है सेमी सर्कल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इन स्ट्रेट एंगल व्हेन माय आर्म इज लाइक दिस फॉलोइंग ऑन द अदर साइड ड्रॉपिंग ऑन द अदर साइड ऐसे 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 सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज एन ऑप्ट्यूज एंगल वॉट इट इज कॉल्ड एज एन ऑप्ट्यूज एंगल आई ट्राई टू डू इट बट मैं अभी अभी तो नहीं वेन वी विल स्टार्ट विद एक्टिविटीज ऑफ ज्योमेट्री आई विल आस्क यू टू कलेक्ट लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस मोर ओके सो राइट नो वी स्टॉप हियर दैट इज वेन टू रेज ज्वाइंग एट वन कॉमन वर्टिक्स और डिस्टेंस इज क्रिएटेड बिटवीन दैट टू एंड दैट डिस्टेंस इज कॉल्ड एज द मेजर ऑफ द एंगल एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द मेजर ऑफ द एंगल से different type of angles are formed one is acute which is less than 90 if it turns out to be exactly 90 it's called as right angle anything beyond 90 dropping on the other side is called as obtuse angle and something coming straight and flat a semi circle is being formed is called as a straight angle so children i'm stopping my video here right now we will see more things tomorrow sorry in the next video and of course in the live sessions we are practicing our decimal questions quite many we have finished we have to just do multiplication and division so thank you children for watching the video have a good day